Today I'm in Moab, Utah to test the new Falcon Wild Peak AT4W all-terrain tire. And I'm going to do it with a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. That's coming up right now on Driving Sports TV. Moab, Utah is one of the most popular off-roading destinations in the world. And for good reason. It has a dry desert climate, thousands of acres of red rock, and it also has a very wide assortment of developed trails. So you can pick an adventure appropriate to your skill level. I'm here because Falcon has a new tire set to replace the very popular AT3W all-terrain tire. It is of course called the AT4W. This new tire has an updated compound, more rigid tread blocks, and a new sidewall design for better off-road performance. It is still peak rated, and it should be better in winter conditions than before. Of course, one of the trademarks of the AT3W was that it was also still very nice to drive on regular paved roads. Hopefully, the AT4W can carry on that tradition. But today, I'm not worried about paved roads. No, I got a Jeep Rubicon, and we're in Moab. Come on! The vehicle I'm driving today is this, a 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It's equipped with the new Hurricane 2-liter turbo four-cylinder, making a peak 265 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. And yes, indeed, it is the same motor you could find in a Dodge Hornet GT. The transmission is an eight-speed automatic. Of course, it does have a dual-range gearbox as well as front and rear lockers, in addition to a disconnectable front sway bar. It also has a two-inch lift, so we can fit these massive 37 by 12 and a half versions of the AT4W. These are heavy duty e-load tires as well. The trail we're driving today is called the Poison Spider. This trail will give us a nice variety of terrain and obstacles, in addition to some really great views. It is rated as a difficult trail, so don't bring your cross track wildernesses out here. They won't make it. <laughs> I'm not traveling alone. This is, after all, a whole Falcon tire thing. I will have plenty of support along the way. Now let's hit the trail and see what these new Falcon Wild Peaks can do. We're going to be starting on paved surfaces. And of course, you almost always have to start on a road or a highway to get to those great off-road locations. And of course, this will give us an opportunity to see what these AT4Ws sound like on the highway. Now, keep in mind, these are not your daily <laughs> AT4W sizes that we're rolling with right now. These are 37s, 37 by 12 and a half to be exact. That means it has the Duraspec sidewall, it's an HD tire, and it also has the heat dissipation ring. These are all very good things that we'll talk more about a little later in the video. A lot of viewers ask, why do I never do reviews of Jeep Wranglers? Well, today we actually are behind the wheel of a Jeep Wrangler, which is great. But the reason is very easy. Jeep just doesn't send us Wranglers. Um, in the Pacific Northwest, I don't know what it is, for whatever reason, uh, we've only had one sent to us in the last decade, and it was pulled from fleet early. I think maybe it was damaged or they had some kind of a media event they had to do with some famous person or whatever, I don't know. But the point being is that I've never had a Wrangler on the channel in the 18 years we've been on YouTube. How crazy is that? Now that doesn't mean that I haven't driven Wranglers, of course, but typically it's off camera. So good news, Falcon called me and said, hey, you wanna go wheeling with the new AT4W in a Jeep Wrangler? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So here we are. So let's talk a little bit about the Jeep that we're in today. This is a 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. And of course it has been modified because you can't just throw 37s on a factory Jeep. You don't have enough ground clearance. So this has a two inch lift with Fox shocks. So yeah, it's gonna be a little wobbly. But the one thing I wanna say is that these tires, and this is actually one thing that I always liked and appreciated about the AT3W tire, was that it was very easy to live with every day. It's a very quiet tire on the highway. And right now, I'm getting the same kind of vibe from these tires. They're relatively quiet. Now, granted, we are only rolling at about 35 mile per hour, but there's no weird harmonics going on. 
there's nothing out of the ordinary, and that is good. You don't want to have to think about your tires while you're driving around town. So we don't have to do that today, which is great. So the AT4W is good in civilian territory. How does it work, though, when the going gets tough? Is it still as good as the AT3W? Is it a little bit better? That's what we're going to find out. The format today is, of course, caravan style, and I think we're in the very... Oh, no, there's one, one Jeep behind us, so we're not quite the last in the line. Uh, but, you know, we are going to try to keep pace with everybody, so this video might be a little bit different than what you're used to on this channel, but we're going to make it work. So on the highway, you might be wondering why does the AT4W perform just as well as the AT3W if it's a more rugged, durable tire? Well, it comes down to lugs. They're a little bit bigger and the gaps or voids are a little bit smaller. Now, does that hamper off-road performance? Well, that is something that we have yet to test. But I will say that on the highway here, even with these honking 37s, they roll great. I'm not getting appreciable road noise out of this tire. And that's kind of surprising. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind with tires in general is that a Wild Peak AT4W is not an Wild Peak AT4W is not a Wild Peak AT4W. There's a number of different sizes, formats, and features. And depending on the size that you pick, you may have different sizes and features available. They have the extra reinforced sidewall available on some tires. They have HD available on some tires. They have the heat dissipation circle in the middle available on some tires. So, you know, keep in mind when you are shopping for the tire that you're not just getting whatever is available make sure you're picking the feature set that you need if you're doing hard off-roading you want the duraspec off-road sidewall because it's going to be more durable as the name implies if you're going to be towing you're going to want the hd because you're going to run higher pressures all this kind of stuff is very important so you kind of have to educate yourself and it's kind of funny because like tires are one of the things that regular drivers just don't think about you know they're one of the things you buy a car or truck or SUV and whatever tire it has is usually okay or you might like say hey to your friends oh well you know what tire should I buy and they'll be like oh you need to buy a wild peak it's like great well which one you got to think about these things and so that's where a video like this hopefully will get you to understand how some of these things come into play if you enjoy off-road or even the outdoors and you've never been to Moab, you kind of need to add it to your bucket list because this place is incredible. And one of the best things about it is you can stay in Moab and you can go wheeling like within five minutes. Like there's, you don't have to go an hour, hour and a half outside of town to have some fun, which is kind of cool. Stay in a nice hotel and then go wheeling. You don't always have to camp in the great outdoors. Man. The scenery here is amazing. So that's the end of the highway, but now it's time to hit the trail. But before we go on the trail, we're gonna air the tires down to about 20 PSI. Cue montage. Okay, we're ready to go now. The Jeep has been aired down to about 1920 PSI. Would lower be better? Yes, but this is a tire event. That's what they requested. Uh, we are gonna set up the Jeep for the road ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it into four low. Yes, it's gonna make clunking noises because it's a Jeep. Going to drive. Uh, they did request that we do off-road plus and that we also disconnect the sway bar. So we should be all set. Of course, wheel position is very important. You want to be able to not, you don't want to be reaching for the wheel. You want it to fall to hand nicely. Obviously you keep your thumbs out of the wheel. So if you get any snap from the suspension, you're not going to break your fingers or your thumbs. I guess for some people, these would be fingers, but that would be weird. Let's do this. So of course, now that we've disconnected the sway bar, we're in four low, it's all ready to go. Our first feature here is a switch pack. We have a couple different paths we can take up it. Um, just gonna kind of play it by ear. It's an easy, fun day out. So uh, gonna see what these tires can do and uh, I, what I can do, I guess. <laughs> Cue the banjo music. Now it's kind of funny, obviously the stuff that we're climbing over right now 
yeah. is stuff that on camera for my new car reviews, um, we would be struggling and that would be a big feature, but obviously when you're rolling on 37s and you're in a Jeep Rubicon, pff, whatever. <laughs> so right is the hard line, I'm guessing, because those guys just went up that. Yeah, we can steer right into this and it's gonna be a tiny bit off camber. I'm gonna do whatever. Nice and easy on that throttle as you go up that hill, let those tires just grip and pull up. Let's walk over here and go up a, go up a step. Go this way? Like where? You can go, you're good, you're good, but see that step? You can throw some, so you can throw a tire on the step. Now, are you in four low, low? Do you have the way to, I don't know. Uh, no, no, it's just four low. There's no, there's no low, low. You can't do the like, um, putting it in first, like switch it into manual mode? Uh, I mean, I can, yeah. Let's see. You go manual one. There we go, manual one. That's gonna give you your crawling. Nice. And then straighten out, straighten out. There you go. You've got a nice little rock glide here. You're gonna bump up that one. There you go. Now you're climbing. You're climbing some rock though. That's, That's good. I mean, Jeeps make it easy. Yeah, we did it. I mean. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go up the steps. We got lockers on. Let's try climbing here. Go. Oh yeah. Dude, the grip is amazing. That was easy. Ha! Straighten up as the front end starts to climb. Straighten up, there you go. Okay, so here is like the real first difficult obstacle. Um, now I know a lot of you guys watching this aren't like pro wheelers. You're not gonna watch me of all people, uh, if you are, but um, you know, this is gonna be fun. You know, this, this shows you the capability of what these vehicles can do when equipped with a proper tire. My co-driver is trying to get them, convince them for us to take the hard line. <laughs> I, I think I'm okay with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna let him out. Oh, he's got a little rub there. So yeah, you can see what we're dealing with there. It's just a little climb and then we have a hard cut. I got lockers all on front and back, so we should be okay with power. Got my front camera on. How are we doing on the right there? I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna bump the... I'm gonna two pedal it here, so I'm not doing so much of this. I'm also going to put it over into M1, so I got my crawling gear engaged. Got my spotter, he knows what he's doing. And I'm just watching my spotter, I'm not worried about anything else. Keeping a little pressure on the brake. Up we go, and it's a nice easy walk. The last thing you want to do is juddering. Uh, because that can like lose that can make you lose your traction real quick. Do, do, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> you walk her off? Yeah, thanks. Come on. Okay, I gotta lock her off. It's still trying to disengage. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, dude. I mean, that, that truck right there should have its own TV show. That, that truck has personality. You know that guy's whole story. Whether it's right or wrong doesn't matter. I'm making it up. Hard drive, hard drive. Hey. All the way left? Yeah, that way? Okay. On the way, driver. Really? Really? Okay, just keep it that way. Come on. Okay, straighten yet? You're good. Really? Come on. Okay. All the way drive. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. Come on. Don't go back to passenger. <laughs> keep coming. Nice. Nice. 
Yeah. There we go. Gentle. Like I'm putting a baby down. Oh yeah. You like that? You like that? Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did I make it weird? I think I made it weird. <laughs> Too much. Too much. Hey, we're getting full up here. I'm going to turn up the neck down. I'm just popping the flat. I agree with that now. I didn't not even properly just out of my head. So here we're going to roll up a V notch. Of course, we have to be careful coming back down because, like, those guys just kind of bounced off the side. But you know, these are rentals, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, enable my front and rear lockers, switching it over to M1. We'll double pedal up it, and it should be just fine. Yeah. Perfect. Slow so that we're it's a little intimidating, but... Good. That's a good shot. That's right sweet. Ah, but there That's we go. That's the one you want. <laughs> and the new Wild Peak has what they call Duraspec on select sizes. We have that on this, it gives us that extra three layers on the side, which can really help in punishing conditions. So this is kind of a famous part of the uh, trail here. It's a V-notch. It's kind of near where we're gonna finish. So it's kind of like the big finale. So this isn't really about durability of the sidewall necessarily because it's not sharp. Uh, it's not very rugged, it's very smoothed out, which is characteristic of a lot of the trails here in Moab. But what it is gonna do is it, get, it it's gonna check that grip in the corners of the tires. Uh, and that is why you have the tread wrap all around to the sides. And they have modified that on this new AT4W uh, to improve grip in these very type of conditions. So this is called the wedgie. <laughs> Any guess why? where we're gonna I'm not sure what my line should be here so I have somebody coming in okay line is good Add a little throttle right in that wedgie hope hoping I don't fall in the hole I'm gonna cross it up a little bit here Oh yeah, you know the grip feels amazing. I'm having no issues with grip here. Come all the way forward, you're gonna make a second row. Doing good, oh yeah. Let's just add a little throttle to pull out. You know, it really does make it easy. I mean, a Jeep and 37 Wild Peaks, it's kind of a cheat code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Even with the move from a V6 to the new Turbo 4, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon absolutely conquered this trail. Rock crawling doesn't actually require a ton of power, and this Jeep has more than enough. The Hurricane Turbo 4 is more efficient and more powerful than the V6. The only downside I see here is the extra work the cooling system is put through to keep this boosted 4 under control. The radiator fans were cranked all the way to 11 through the second half of the trail. But when it comes to capability out of the box, nothing can still touch the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Wow. It's views like this why we do these type of adventures. We're definitely gonna be doing more with the AT4W from Falcon Tire in the future, but this was just a first run and I think it was pretty successful. What do you think? Post a comment below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share our videos. We make them for you. Hope you enjoy them.